Satya Nadella. Hi, I'm here with Sean Mary Hugh from our accessibility team to talk about inclusive gaming, uh, and in particular, the new Xbox adaptive controller and what it could mean uh, for anyone with limited mobility to be able to play the games they love and play with the friends uh, they have around gaming. So, Sean, you want to get us started? Absolutely. So I've been really excited about the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Use as a wheelchair. It's a, a cool device that lets you plug in all sorts of different peripherals from this really lightweight joystick. That's um, very cool. That I can really light. for long periods of time. Yeah. To things like this tiny little button that take very little force to activate. Got it. Yeah, it's awesome. And so all of this is kind of about building a, a device that people can make their own, create Got a it. custom setup that really works well for them. Got it. And so how do we use all of this to play a game? Sure. Mm -hmm. So I have Sea of Thieves set up, so I thought we could play that. All right. Um, so so I, should I pick up this controller? Sure, and I'll kind of right. walk you through what my setup is like, too. Got it. So I have this lightweight joystick, so this is how I move around. Um, and I can once I'm steering the ship, I can move it uh, using that as well. The screen image moves. So I have this tiny little button set up as my shift function. Got so it. as I hold this, I can then uh, look around using that same joystick. Ah, great. And then how do I participate? Sure. So we're using Copilot. Ah. We're basically using two controllers to control the same character. Right. So anytime you can kind of jump so in. So I can jump control. in and you can be co-piloting with me. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way for anyone uh, to start getting familiar with the controls, participate and enjoy the game, even if they, one, don't have all of the uh, you know, understanding of the game. But in particular, with any limited mobility, you have someone else helping them throughout. Absolutely. Yeah. And so what I love about it is for even for someone who can maybe only press a few buttons, right. they can game with a friend and family and it makes it a lot of fun. Got it. So it's just not only the uh, adaptive controller and all of these other peripherals, but it's even the mode, essentially, the co-pilot mode that makes Xbox a much more inclusive platform for people with limited mobility. Absolutely. A cardboard box. I know one of the things that you have is uh, this new packaging. You want to tell us a little bit about the adaptive controller's packaging itself? So the packaging, which I've been really excited about, is probably the first packaging out there that's designed from the ground up for someone with limited mobility. So it has loops on the packaging that make it really easy to open. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one yeah. up. He tugs on the loop with one finger. Just cool. And so again, I have loops that kind of tear the, the tape on the device too. Yeah. Wow. So it just sets a complete new bar even for how one should design packaging with inclusiveness as top of mind design criteria. That's fantastic. So how does anyone go learn more about uh, all of these peripherals and uh, where, how do they get started? Yeah, so the device is available today, aka.ms slash Xbox Adaptive Controller. And the community has already rallied around it and created such cool setups. So I'm really excited to see what, what else is to come with what people create, with some of the attachments and things like that. Thank you so much, Sean. They shake hands. Microsoft.